everybody, this is Chris from TechSource, and I'm actually kind of excited today. We got our, uh, actually our Motorola Citrus in today. Um, I'm very excited. It's Motorola's newest smartphone for uh, Verizon. Pretty much goes along with the lines like the Devour. Uh, pretty much an introductory device into Android. So uh, let's go ahead and get on the outside of the box. We've got a, a rather gorgeous picture of the phone uh, with Verizon branding and Motorola. It says Motorola Citrus. That's all the barcodes. On this side, uh, pretty much says the specs, um, also saying the device for stock if you may apply, all the other specs and everything like that, all the legal stuff, uh, rule the air, and then on the bottom, you've got uh, pretty much that it meets FCC, uh, and it also shows that it's Android, hearing aid capable, and then I believe this is what's in the box. It also says it's carbon free. It's used by it's using recycled plastic, so it's a kind of a little bit more environmentally friendly. So let's go ahead and uh, open up the box. And by the way, uh, while I'm doing this, I will go ahead and say that this is going to be also a uh, it's a Google phone, but it has the Bing search engine on it, pretty much just like the Fascinate does, and that seems to be a trend um, with all the new uh, Android phones. So we got the Citrus here, uh, pretty compact size uh, looking phone. Um, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, we've got the, uh, actually it looks like they are being trying to be a little bit more environmentally friendly, just like the Droid 1 box where it had uh, very little paper in it. Um, you got the, uh, the charging cord here, which is a USB cord also, of course, hook up to your computer and charge it. And then you've got your, uh, your, ha your uh, regular uh, plug head unit. Then you've got a ton of books, just a ton of books. And then there's also a nice little uh, a little envelope for you to stick your old phone in uh, to send it in to recycle it for Motorola uh, if you're into that kind of thing. So let's go ahead and put all this stuff back in here. Gotta stuff it down a little bit. Close the box. And here we have the Citrus. Uh, like I said, it is uh, Motorola's newest uh, miniature-sized smartphone for the uh, Verizon market. Um, it does have the regular set of home buttons, which are uh, capacitive buttons, along with the call and end, which is uh, two physical buttons, which actually kind of surprised me to have that. Um, but I guess it, it would be more convenient to have it that way. Um, on the right side of the phone, you're going to see the dedicated camera button. The phone does have a 3-megapixel camera on it. Uh, which again is kind of surprising, but it's an introductory device, so uh, again, uh, I guess that would be what you'd expect. On the top, you've got the volume rockers, the uh, up and down. Along the top of the phone, you're going to have the headphone jack, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, along with the power button and lock button. I actually like uh, it this way, unlike how LG does it, where they have the uh, the end call uh, button as the lock button as well, just like on the Aris. causes constant confusion, so I actually like how that's set up. On the left side of the phone, you've got nothing but a micro USB charger. Bottom of the phone, you've got uh, you've got a mic, and the uh, the little piece to actually pull the back off the phone, pull the battery out. Now, if you feel this phone, it feels like it wants to slide open. The only reason I say that there's a little lip underneath uh, the chrome ring and the plastic. There's a little lip there, and it feels like you just want to slide it open and have a full QWERTY keyboard, but there's not. It's it's uh, all touchscreen. So we'll go ahead and uh, power the device on. Um, of course, this is not a uh, this is not a Droid device, so it uh, it does not have its own custom uh, boot up screen, uh, which is kind of sad because it would it would have been nice to see like an orange like explode into like an Android eye or something of that sort. Okay, so the phone is turned on now. Just a last little sit uh, orange, of course, in the background. Uh, kind of ironic in the background for the phone. Um, it does seem to run uh, what looks like the operating system or uh, what is called Moto Blur that's on the Droid X. Uh, so that means if you slide over, you get this nice little uh, notification bar at the top that lets you know what page you're on. Um, like I said before, it does run the Bing search on it. That's uh, the second Verizon phone to do that. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if this is a trend. Uh, maybe it's something that Verizon's starting to go to to have dedicated Bing as opposed to Google on their Google phones. Um, and you've got all of your switches here, like your Bluetooth, your Wi-Fi, your airplane, or airplane mode, um, your network, and your location. Um, like I said before, it does have a 3 megapixel camera, uh, which actually looks pretty nice uh, for being a 3 megapixel camera. 
so uh, that's what it's going to look like. So that's not bad. Of course, it does show uh, 3 megapixel down at the bottom. So let's uh, get back to the home screen. Okay, so this uh, this phone does come with Android 2.1 on it. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna up, uh, if it will update to 2.2. All I know is it is launching with 2.1. Um, also, it is a three-inch screen. The resolution is actually 320 by 240, which sadly is not that great of a resolution. You can definitely see just from the phone starting up that uh, it kind of pixelates a little bit. Um, but I guess that's something you have to deal with when you do have a, uh, a lower-end Android phone. Information on this phone is going to be that it uh, it has Bing Maps on it. I'm sure you can get uh, Google Maps navigation on it, but it does come uh, preloaded. Uh, with Bing Maps navigation on it. Uh, it does support YouTube and of course as you can see it does support the uh, the Facebook and Twitter uh, to allow you to, uh, to have your social networking. Um, so that's pretty much been a, a quick rundown of the uh, new Motorola Citrus uh, for Verizon Wireless and unboxing of the Motorola Citrus. Um, as with every other unboxing, if you have any questions just leave any comments or questions in the comment bar below or leave them on my Facebook or Twitter. Uh, again, thank you. This is TechSource doing an unboxing. One more thing about the phone, um, it actually has this little pad back here. Um, what this allows you to do is uh, pretty much if you uh, swipe your finger across the back, it moves the pages over to whichever way you want to. And if you double tap it, you get this little uh, little target here that lets you uh, go into and uh, pick certain items. So you can obviously move up and down with it which is pretty cool it's a nice little uh, gimmick they have going on so uh... yeah